I created for Fabrizio Romano in FIFA 22. Here we go, baby. The transfer journalist extraordinaire I've made as a player. Have a look at that, bro. That is scarily accurate. I've created him as a player in career mode in FIFA 22. We've gone ahead and added him to Napoli. He is born in Naples, although I don't actually know what team exactly he supports. But hey, you're born in Naples. I'll just whack you on Napoli. We'll call it a day. We've got every detail about him absolutely on point. I've made him a center midfielder in the game and I've given him an AT overall. So he is a starting 11 player for me. We're so used to getting the scoops about player moves and their careers from this guy. Well, you know what? Let's make him a player and give him his own career as well. And just be warned, by the way, the first time a single offer comes in for him, I'm accepting it straight away. I just want him to transfer as many times as possible for the meme. If I have not said, here we go, like 27 times in this video, I have failed. It is going to be tricky though, because you know, he, he is 28 years of age. I think he might even be 29 years of age. So he won't have that many seasons under his belt. But let's get rolling and underway. Yes, I did indeed put my own face in the game. Look at that too. I'm not just making others in the game. You know, I had to get myself sorted out as well. But let's advance on forward and simulate the career of Fabrizio Romano in FIFA. And let's see how he gets on. Another major shout out to Alif, of course, once again, the creator of the face mod done another bang up job. Normally when I've done this in the past, I've made guys like Speed and Mr. Beast and you know, Iran Ferreira and others. I've made them like strikers or wingers and they would pile, pile in the goals and the assists and whatnot. There may not be that many goals and assists and you know what from Fabrizio Romano, but nonetheless, we'll switch it up. We'll make him a midfielder and we'll see how his career gets on. If he just happens to end up with like, you know, 80 assists in a season, then I'll, I'll take that too. Okay then, well Napoli looking pretty strong. Roma may be on top for the time being, but they are in a position to maybe win Serie A. Is Fabrizio contributing to that? Uh, maybe, maybe not. I mean, he's got two goals and two assists. And again, uh, when you make him a center midfielder, we were switching things up. You're not expecting to see 10 goals and 20 assists from center midfield. I mean, unless you're David Turner. Very, very few people will get that reference. But if you did, then I know who you are. Good job. If you didn't get that reference, then clearly you haven't been subscribed or you haven't been paying attention to the literature. Be sure to go ahead and give this video a like and definitely subscribe, of course, if you are indeed new and you're enjoying it so far. So at the end of the first season, it looks like we got Napoli finishing in second with Roma in first. But yeah, the Coppa Italia was also lost in the final. So, so close to a Serie A, so close to a cup final. And they've also made the Europa League final against Sporting Lisbon. So let's give this a sim. Let's see if, you know, Fabrizio can get a goal, get an assist, get something. If he can have a big day. And let's hope to God that Napoli don't have like a labor accusing season where they could have won pretty much everything, but they just fall short. Damn, looks like Napoli got a few injuries. Zelinski's injured. Cool. Bali's injured, you know, less stars in the team, less chance that they win but more of a chance that Fabrizio can shine. Come on, baby, we're underway. Here we go, Sporting Lisbon versus Napoli. I'm looking out for the number 99. He was on the ball a second ago. If he can get a goal contribution, that would be insane. That's what we want to see. Doesn't look to be too involved in this attack. Or maybe he will be right at the end there. It was falling to him, no. Ah, yep, and there it is. There it is. They will take the lead. Go on, Fabrizio. He's got it there. He's getting forward. I like that. But no, still not getting the, the service. Oh, come on. This could be an assist. Oh, he fed it to him. The shot's just straight at the keeper. I think this could be half time if they get an attack. I don't think they will. Nah, half time. Ah, come on. Come on, Napoli. Return. I believe Fabrizio's getting forward. There's a chance of a, of a Romano goal here. It's so funny. It's like, I don't even want Napoli to score. I just want Romano to score. I might jump in a little bit and just watch to see that man Fabrizio Romano in the middle, just to see if he can actually get, I don't know, his foot on the ball and just create something, a moment of magic. Oh, you goddamn idiot. You've actually- Oh, Zelinski! You should have stayed injured. The friggin' the bloody moron has run right into a defender, turned over the ball, and now Lisbon are gonna win. Fabrizio's in the background. He can only stand and watch. He's hiding behind the referee, so maybe he didn't see it. Good for him. Yeah, I'm pissed off. I'm furious. I'm furious in game. I'm furious out of the game. I'm, I'm go. Here we go. Romano's on the ball here. He's sitting on it. He's thinking. What's he gonna do? Simple pass to Fabian. Lovely pass. Fabian. They're just all crap. All the other mids in this team, apart from Fabrizio, are shit. You know what? I've seen enough. Napoli's finished. We need to get him out of this shit club. We need to get him somewhere proper. Sorry, Fabrizio. I know you're from Naples. I, I, sh I probably shouldn't call you a team shit, but whatever. Unless a miracle comeback. A miracle comeback. Mertens. 
Are you telling me Maradona played for this absolute joke of an organization? This isn't even a Fabrizio Romano in FIFA video anymore. This is just a roast the shit out of Napoli and they deserve it. Well, sadly, they're not going to win today and hopefully uh, the suffering will be over in just a second. Yep, ball's cleared away. Let that be the end of it. Uh, and I've seen enough. Yeah, let's get Fabrizio Romano the hell out of here. We are going to accept the very first transfer that comes his way. Congratulations, Sporting Lisbon. Uh, hopefully, we will still be able to get back to this stage if we possibly can. But he is transferred. Thanks for listed, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see where we can get him to land. I trust this man more than my own mother, okay? I, I want him to have success in this video. The World Cup is on at the moment as well, and uh, Fabrizio Romano wasn't even selected, and you can see that Insigne was selected, so unlike in real life, Italy did make it, but he didn't even get the call up. It looks like Italy could maybe go far as well. I am sick of the disrespect this man is getting already so early in this video. We have two offers. One is from Inter Milan, so the other one is from Torino. He may just just end up staying in Syria completely, which, I mean, you know what, fair enough, that'd be okay. Yeah, but it's not like any of these other clubs are really, you know, were much better in Syria at all. I'm just gonna go ahead and accept them all anyway, whatever. We'll see if Fabrizio ends up moving or staying or whatever. Well, we do see a move, and it is Fabrizio Romano going to Inter. It's a bit of a more of a sexier club to go to than Torino. Hopefully, Inter a little more successful than Napoli this season, this time around. We'll find out. But, oh my god, I've been waiting since the start of this video to say this. Here we go, confirmed. It is Fabrizio Romano to Inter Milan. I'm going to tweet now. Here we go. And of course, wherever Fabrizio goes, I will follow everywhere. What the f is going on with my face? Wait a minute, that's not me. Imposter. <laughs> Are you actually kidding me? It was England that won the World Cup too, by the way. Oh my God. Look, listen, I do want to see England win the World Cup once in my life, but only once and hopefully not for another 30 something years, okay? Let Australia win one by some miracle in the next 20 years, okay? And then you can win one. But Fabrizio Romano is here. He is back. He's still 80 rated, 29 years of age, so nearly in his 30s. But if you look at the midfield, Chalhanalu, Brozovic and Barella, that is a tough midfield to break into. Was this the smartest decision? I don't know. Who am I kidding? Of course, it was a good decision. Anything to get out of that bottling Napoli side. All right, let's advance to the end of season two and see how he gets on with his first season at Inter. The one thing I want to see, how many appearances is this guy going to make? Yeah, maybe that wasn't a smart decision. <laughs> oh, God. Napoli ends up winning the league. Uh, Inter Milan comes fifth. So they won't even be in the Champions League. League. Not only that, but they were in the Coppa Italia to Roma. They lost 4-2. So it's like right there, right there for Fabrizio. And it just doesn't happen. However, though, got to be said, he only made 15 appearances in this pretty stacked Inter Milan team and only got three assists, not even a single goal. I knew when I made him a midfielder, he wasn't going to pop off and only an 80 overall. But like I say only an 80. Just keep in mind that most of the people that I do this series with, right, they'd probably not even have an overall above 40. It's called suspending belief. Okay, look, we could still hopefully make a Europa League final. And if we can do that, then, I don't know, uh, Inter Milan capable of even winning the Serie A title itself. I'm not sure. I just want to see this guy win one silverware. Complete. One piece of silverware. But okay, season three. You know what, Chalhanalu? I'm not even going to add him in the team. Ericsson's back now. My God. Anyway, no. I'm going to put Fabrizio Romano in there. I don't know if when we see him, it's actually going to have much of an effect. But whatever. Let's chuck him into starting 11. Hope that helps him get a few more games in. I'm even going to chuck like Thoram in. We've got Lazaro in. Jekko's injured. Is there someone slightly better? No. Nah, that's okay. He'll get fit. And that team is still strong. Even with Romano in there and a few other, you know, lower 70 rated players or higher rated 70 rated players. Come on, boys. You've got to win some trophies. If Inter Milan just completely stuff up this season as well, don't even come close to winning a trophy, stuff it. I'm just going to bugger him off. I'm going to bugger him off. I'm going to get him another move straight away. And another season where we see Inter Milan finishing fifth and just outside the Champions League places. Man, this is killing me. This is killing me. Fabrizio Romano has made the Coppa Italia final every single season, but he always loses the final. This is getting ridiculous. The poor guy's gonna get a Michael Ballack reputation at this point. Like, just great player, just always threw it away. Never could get it done. Three goals and 27 appearances, so he's making more appearances. You wanna know something hilarious, by the way, before we end this season? Guess who just offered for Fabrizio Romano? Bloody Napoli, wanting to buy him back. I don't know if they're being serious, if we actually accepted it, and then they turn around and said, bitch, you thought. Or if we actually send him back to Napoli. I d uh, Napoli only finished fourth last season, or this season, so. No, no, no. Maybe another team comes for him will sell him, but no. It's like a pride thing. I wouldn't send him back. I would be 
Not after two years. That's like, oh. I will say in this new season, we're still getting a lot of big offers. Like we rejected Napoli. Torino came in. Now we've got Sassuolo. It's like, can we get an offer from one team that isn't in Italy? You know, broaden our horizons a bit. It's not like he's English for Christ's sakes. Like he is willing to challenge himself in other countries for God's sake. All right. Well, we do have like a Spanish team, but like, what is that? Mallorca? I mean, nice party the city, but I don't know about football. Look, I promise you, I will say here we go at some point again in this video. But for now though, I don't really know if this would count particularly as a trophy, considering the only reason that they're in this Super Coppa is because they made the final of the Coppa Italia, but they lost. It just so happens that the team that beat them also won the league. So this is like a pathetic trophy to win. And it's not even like they won it anyway. Oh good, not even an issue, sweet. We'll keep on moving. That's another final he's lost in. Can we actually start keeping count of this now? How many finals? this guy has played and lost in. What are we up to? Like five? Five at least. God damn it. Come on. Let's push on to the end of this season. Please, Milan. I just, I beg into. Come on. Oh, actually, you know, time out. Let's actually have a look at this. AC Milan have come in with an offer. Do we join their rival? Do we do like a reverse Chalhanalu? Now, I am not indicating or, or saying it, it, you know, that I think Fabrizio Romano is a snake in any way. I'm not. This is me talking. I am the puppet master that just has the strings right on this guy's career. You know what? I say stuff it. I'm going to accept this. We are going to try to send Fabrizio Romano to AC Milan. Hey, at least he doesn't have to, you know, sell his house and move. He's basically right. He's already there. I'm in deadline day. I'm waiting to see if he accepts it or not. I don't know. Oh my God. Would you look at this? Fabrizio Romano has rejected a move to Milan. Couldn't agree on contract terms. You know what? I bet he just didn't want to snake his, you know what? Too much respect. Too much integrity. That's your problem, Fabrizio. But luckily for you, you've got another offer. Atletico Madrid want to get a piece of that here we go. I can accept that. Will it happen in time though? Will we see a deadline day move for old mate Fabrizio Romano? He's normally pretty busy on this day and he has indeed gone to Atletico Madrid. Here we go, confirmed. He's off and on his way to Spain. Let's see how he gets on with Atletico Madrid. He wasn't winning Jack in Italy. Hopefully in Spain, that's different, but he is still gonna have to contend now with Barca, Real, and God knows who else. So we do make the move to Atletico, and look, it means he's back in the Champions League. Old mate Fabrizio, he's finally successfully pulled off what Ronaldo's trying to do. Ditch those Europa League bums, get back into the Champions League by any means necessary. But come on, Fabrizio, mate, I believe in you. I got a feeling this season, this is finally the season. Looking at the team Atletico Madrid have, I think they can definitely win something. That's for damn sure. But again, uh, that's a pretty stacked midfield of Verratti and, Lo and Lorente. I don't know if Romano's busting into that. But either way, let's finally push on with this season with Atletico Madrid. Come on, boys. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Two points away from the title. That is, I know it's not a cup final, but you can basically make that six. Six missed trophies now. No good in the Super Copper. In the Copper del Rey, they lost. This is I, unbelievable. And they may not be in the Champions League final, but get this, they were there. They were nearly there. One goal away on aggregate. Fabrizio, mate, you are cursed. You are legit cursed. And you also picked up an injury and you only played 14 games. Oh, it's barely like we can put it on you, but I mean still. So that is now six cup finals that he has lost. He very easily could have gotten a league title and maybe could have made a Champions League final. We won't count that. But he is pretty much like, you know, bottled like seven possible trophies here. This simply, as we go into another season, cannot keep going. Eventually, he has to make another cup final and he has got to, on the seventh attempt, make it happen. Oh, another season, another close call. Not as close as last season, but seven points off finishing in third place. Oh, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. They've actually done it. They've won, finally, Fabrizio Romano a trophy. It is a Super Copa, which you play two games for, but I am so desperate. I am, ah, oh, Fabrizio, I'm so happy for you. Here we go, man, finally. No such luck in the Copa del Rey, which is a game or a competition that you actually have to win like six or seven games for, but I don't care. Super Copa counts. We have a trophy. Old mate Fabrizio is actually like 33 years old, so it was always going to be a shorter career, but I might give it one more season. I don't know. You know what, sure. Let's go for one, one more season with Fabrizio. I mean, now that he's got a trophy, again, I, I use that word very loosely, but now that he has silverware, I feel a bit more okay. But imagine going your whole career and all you win is a two game trophy. My, my God, man, but we got to take it. Looks like Italy is still in the World Cup as well for this one as well. Shame Fabrizio still isn't getting 
getting the call up though. Like him, Suarez, Sa. Okay, there's maybe a few players in the starting eleven, but my poor my, my poor guy can't get a cap. I really don't know if I've ever seen an 80 rated player, like a perfectly good player, get so disrespected and take so many L's in such a short career. Maybe we would we would have been better off sticking him in some random Serie B team and just let him go crazy. But whatever, it is what it is. Final season for Fabrizio. Well, amazing, amazing news. It's finally happening now. Now that the, the curse has been broken, we are seeing Fabrizio Romano finally winning some silverware. La Liga, that's a legit trophy. Come on. Here I was vexed like, oh, his only trophy he played two games for. He played 38 games for this boy. And then again, I say he played 38 games. He probably played a lot less than that. Oh, ho, ho, he also won a Copa del Rey. Oh, this is insane. This is in... Oh, my God, bro. It literally just had to get over the hurdle. And now, finally, look at it. It's like the floodgates have opened. Oh, my God. It gets even better. He's in the Champions League final as well. He's going up against Dortmund. Oh, boy. Swear. I swear, Fabrizio, man. You've got to do it. From just not being able to win a single cup final, not a single trophy, to getting a treble. That's how you shut everyone up. We will get Fabrizio Romano to play this final, of course. We will. Will he have an impact in the final? That would be, imagine the scenes. Fabrizio Romano scoring in the Champions League final. Seems as though the final is going to be played at Anfield, which is a bit of a surprising stadium to see it host the final, but here we go. I only say that in terms of capacity more than anything and, you know, just sort of world-class stadiums. But, uh, yeah, I'm digging myself a hole here with Liverpool fans, aren't I? You can definitely fit more people in, in many other stadiums. That's all I'm saying. But regardless, though, we're here and I'm waiting for him. There he is. Fabrizio Romano, mate, you can do this. We're off, we're underway, we're jumping into the sim. I will jump back into the game if we need to, but uh, I'm hoping that we can get the job done. Fabrizio Romano is number 42 in red. So that's the number you've got to keep your eye on. You're like, here we go. He's on the ball now. He might've helped start something. Possibly. Cut back. Where is Fabrizio? He won't be found. But Chao Felix will. And that's 1-0. No assist, but very crucial in the build-up. Uh-oh. Off the post and a rebound goal for Solomon. That is so lucky. Oh, good intercept for Fabrizio. Nice work, mate. He's got it back. Hopefully, this will start something. And halftime, 45 minutes, 1-1 one, one draw still at the moment. The second half is underway. Let's do this. Is there 45 minutes left of Fabrizio Romano's career? They're lurking for him. They're, whoa, they're lurking. And then Suarez gets it to him. I'm just watching 42 in every single one of these build-ups. But Suarez had a tap-in from the six-yard box. If they score another one, and if this man here can help get it, he does. He gets the pass to the assist. And I think Atletico Madrid's going to do it. Oh, he's only gone and won the ball back again. Fabrizio, he may not have a goal or an assist, but he is borderline running the game and Atletico nearly feel oh, they nearly sealed it tell you what I'm gonna jump in with 10 minutes to go Dortmund could still come back but I want to jump in and see hopefully we hopefully see Atletico Madrid lift up this trophy good clean tackle oh cheeky quick pass from Fabrizio he's on it the rest of his teammates ain't though that's a terrible turnover go on Romano get in the way tackle loose oh dear Romano please follow with it oh he can't defend Fabrizio Romano, mate, Julian Brandt, you were supposed to go with him. I can't lie, Romano's been great, but uh, he's got to go with Julian Brandt there. He's just standing around with his bloody finger up his bum. What are you doing, mate? That was not very here we go of you. I'm just saying, all right? Come on. Now we have got to refocus. They may throw this away if they're not careful. Surely they won't, though. There's a little bit of time to go. Lorente, that's a heavy touch. Oh, you've done it. You've only gone and done it. You've given them the chance now. I swear this is going to happen. It better not. Fabrizio, tackle. Romano's got it. Romano with the ball at his feet as the whistle goes. And Atletico Madrid win the Champions League. Fabrizio Romano has done it. He stacks up like four trophies in his last season and a half. Here we go. He doesn't score. He doesn't assist. But I tell you what, he had a very influential game. He was great. He won the ball back plenty. He got a pass to an assist. I tell you what, the goal contributions in this game, maybe they're not there. The goal involvements is probably at least two of three from the goals that we scored. Today. But I say anyone ending their career by winning the Champions League, I would say that's going out on quite possibly the highest of highs next to, I don't know, winning a World Cup. But I'm trying to find him. Where is he? He's right in the background. He's standing just behind Jan Oblak. Mate, move. Get out of the way. No one cares about the goalkeeper. We want to see Fabrizio. He's too short. He's five foot nine. We can't see him above bloody Oblak. 
but he's fine. He's in the background. He's enjoying himself. It is Fabrizio Romano, Champions League champions. We got him the trophies in the end, and we only went and got him the biggest trophy. There he is in the back. I can see him now. Let's go. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, that will do it for this one. That was Fabrizio Romano in FIFA 22. If you have any other people that you want to see in FIFA, then drop them in the comment section down below, and who knows? Maybe if I see a couple that I'm pretty keen on, I might just make it happen. Once again, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new around here, if you've enjoyed the video. Until next time, my name's Master Bucks. Catch you all later, and bye-bye.